Hi everyone, Gordon here from GCreate. Now this is a quick video on how to use your 3D printer, whether it's your first time or a refresher. Now before using your printer, there's a few things you should do before pretty much every print. Whether you're printing in the same spot a lot or you want to have a great first layer adhesion, you should really sand the acrylic on your printer pretty much after every couple prints. Uh, to do this, take the supplied uh, sponge sanding block and mix it with some water and give your bed a quick sand and make sure that the surface is nice and smooth and has no uh, uh, defects or uh, plastic that's been stuck to it. And when you're done, just wipe it off with a cloth and let it dry. Next, we're going to install the filament on the filament spool brackets on the top of your printer. Now you'll see here that you easily just slide on the right filament spool bracket. And this is the adjustable one, whereas the other one should remain in place. And this is how you can adjust to fit the width of the filament spool you have. Once you secure the brackets, the filament should unspool very smoothly. You want to make sure there's no resistance in the spool as this could translate into the print itself. Next, take a clean cut end of the filament and you want to go ahead and straighten about 4 inches uh, from the end. This just makes it much easier to insert into the extruder itself. Now when inserting the filament, make sure that you push it into the PTFE tubing as seen here. The filament should go all the way to the bottom of the hot end and it should be about this long, about four and a half to five inches. If it's, if it's stopping shorter than that, it might be binding somewhere higher up. So make sure it goes all the way to the bottom of the hot end. Now this next part pertains to anybody with the BL Touch bed level sensor installed. Now when you first turn your printer on, the sensor will perform a self-test, which means it'll drop or raise two or three times depending on the firmware. If at any point during the self-test, the BL Touch hits something, it'll come back with a fault, which means it'll blink nonstop. If you notice your BL Touch blinking, this is not good. The most common cause of this is the sensor is too close to the bed, so therefore it can't drop because it hits the acrylic. Now this is a simple fix. What you should do is go to the prepare, move axis, move one millimeter, move Z portion of the menu. This will allow you to raise the extruder so it's high enough off the bed. Then when you're done, simply turn your printer off and back on. And this should let the BL touch sensor perform its self-test again. If you find this does not solve your problem, please feel free to contact support. Once you've finished inserting the filament, now you want to go to the prepare and auto home sections of the LCD menu. This will automatically home your extruder to the center of the bed. First you'll see the x-axis home, and then the y-axis home, and then the z-axis will lower until the bed level sensor touches the bed. This is a critical step when first setting up your printer, or every once in a while if your printer first layers are kind of off. Now if you go to the prepare, move, move 0.1, and then move Z menus in the LCD screen, you should see that the Z is at 1.9 millimeters above the bed. This is the default height. If you lower it down to zero millimeters, it should be about one business card thickness away from the bed. If this is not the case, then raise the extruder until you can just barely fit a business card below. Once you've figured out this height and it shows it on the LCD screen, this tells you how much to raise or lower the BL touch. If the number is positive, then you want to lower the BL touch, and if it's negative, you want to raise it. You should do this if your first layers are consistently either high or low, and this will lock it in so the next print will be perfect. Once you've dialed in the bed level sensor, now it's time to perform your first print. So from the LCD screen, go to Print from SD, and pick the file you wish to print. For information on slicing, check out our other tutorials. Now, if you use our newest config files, you'll see the printer will automatically home first. Now you'll see it lower. And then if you have the bed level sensor installed, it'll probe the bed in either four or nine points, depending on your firmware. This is what will calculate the new plane for an unleveled bed and is a necessary part of the G-code. After the bed leveling probe has finished, you'll see the heater heat up to the target temperature. Now, during this time, I like to go to the Tune and then Baby Step Z menu right before the print is about to start. This allows you to finally adjust the first layer to raise or lower it by very small increments and get just the right first layer. If you find you're consistently adjusting the first layer on every print, this is where you need to go back and adjust the BL Touch to be higher or lower so that the next print will be perfect. 
As you see here, this is what the first layer should look like. It should be a somewhat fat line of plastic extruding onto the bed so it gets good adhesion, but it's not too high or too low. If you cannot see the line, then it might be too low and it might be digging into the acrylic. If the line appears to be squiggly or it's extruding in air, then it might be too high. That's where the Baby Step Z will be a very useful tool. If you ever need to stop your print, you can go to Stop Print from the menu. Just make sure if you ever do this, you immediately move your extruder off the bed so it does not burn a hole in the acrylic. Now whenever removing a print, use this scraper to gently tap at different corners of the model. We find that instead of pure brute force, sometimes finding the weak points of the model and popping it off is much easier. As I mentioned, this is a very quick start guide in running a 3D printer. There are a lot of things to learn when it comes to slicing and preparing your model for print. And remember, every single model should have different settings because not every model is alike. So some settings that might work for one model might not necessarily work for another. So really, at this point, just have fun, try testing different prints, and record the settings and remember them so that in the future, you can plug them right back in. Make sure to check out our other tutorials on different techniques for slicing, uh, model making, and quite frankly, some just really cool big 3D prints. We hope you enjoyed this video, and welcome to the world of 3D printing.